Today our F-150 is getting a Tesla screen upgrade. You don't want to miss this. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. So we bought this 2015 F-150. It's got the factory stereo. Now this one has a Sync 2 stereo. So those of you who have a Sync 3 stereo, you already have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on your stereo anyway. But for those of us who have a 2015 and older, we only have Sync 2 or Sync 1, and we do not have the ability to have Android Auto. That is the biggest reason that I wanna look at an upgrade but for those of you who also already have the bigger, newer screen with Sync 3, you still might want to consider an upgrade like this because it brings your slightly older truck all the way up to the most current looking with a giant, massive touchscreen display, which we want to have a closer deep dive at. Now, this is what we're looking at right here. It is your standard Sync 2 stereo system, which, you know, I mean, it looks okay. We've got the eight inch screen model and the upgrade that we're gonna do actually works on those of you who have the four inch model and even those of you who have the old, ugly, ugly, ugly stereo that doesn't even have a screen on it at all. So this will upgrade all of those stereos but the first thing we need to do is rip out the existing stereo. We'll give you a quick time lapse of us ripping the existing stereo out. You can follow along with your own vehicle. Now we've got the stereo out. It's time to go into the studio and just see what the new stereo that's going in is. And then we'll jump back here and get started with the install. But first, we got to get the sponsor out of the way. Gams Go. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gams Go has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsgo is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsgo for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsgo. Switching to Gamsgo is as easy as clicking the link in the description or up in the title card, which will take you to the main Gamsgo website, select the services that you're looking for and buy them. But to show you how easy it is, we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna sign up for Netflix. So we've clicked the affiliate link and I'm gonna click purchase now on Netflix. Now we have an option to buy three months or six months. I'm gonna buy a six month membership. I'm gonna say activate auto renewal because you don't wanna miss out anyway. Now in my case, I only need one profile. That means that I get one of the five included shared profiles with my Netflix account and I can install it on one device in my home. Do you have multiple devices in your home? You might want to switch to the five profiles option which also unlocks multiple devices so that you can use all of your profiles across multiple devices. But in my case, one profile is plenty. Now this is the most important step. It's gonna say, do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. And the promo code is GEARS. We're gonna apply our promo code and it's gonna say, this is a valid promo code. We're gonna click to go to payment and then we're gonna enter in all of our details. This is a one-time payment of just $21.26. That is crazy cheap for premium Netflix on one device with one profile. I'm going to pay now. I'm gonna enter my credit card information and that's it. Once you've paid, you get immediate access to Netflix and it's as simple as logging into your Gamsgo account, getting the username and pass key, and then going to legit Netflix. Now it's gonna immediately say, well, who is this? Now I am account number three, Gears and Tech. And it's gonna ask for my pin code because I locked this down. Once I have my pin code in, now instantly I am in the full premium Netflix experience. This gives me HD Netflix, I can download it, and it's that simple. And it works the same on all your other favorite streaming platforms. This is truly an amazing deal, you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. Now that we've got the factory stereo out, it's time to see what we're putting back in. And this is gonna be your first view at one of the biggest Tesla style screens that you can get 
for pretty much any car, but specifically in our case, the Ford F-150. Now we'll take a deep dive into all the features and all of that before we install it in the vehicle, but first we need to do a quick unboxing, see what even comes in here. To start off with, I am extremely impressed with this box. It is a full color box on all sides. It looks really, really good. It has a quick feature set on the side. You can tell that it was made by somebody who intended for this to actually wow you a little bit at least, but you didn't come here for a box. You came here to see what's inside the box. Actually, you might've came to see just what the heck I'm putting in my truck. Ah, there we go. And the first thing we see is this massive, massive screen. This thing is huge. We're gonna take this out in a minute and have a closer look at that. It comes with SIM popping tool and a SIM adapter. It does have this giant box full of goodies. I'll walk you through during the install what all this stuff is, but we've got antennas, we've got USB cords, we've got jumper cables, we've got auxiliary cabling, we've got whatever this thing is. I know what this is. We know what we got one of those. We've also got this. Now this is what I'm gonna be mostly interested in during the install, but this is the factory wire loom terminal to connect everything together. And over here, what is this? I do not know. Ah, I do know now. This is a bezel. Now this bezel is not gonna make any sense to you. We can move all our wires over there. Our bezel right there. The actual unit itself. Wow. Look at that. This is very big. Let's take a, t a quick tour of the unit itself and then we'll talk about the features. So as you can see, it comes with the bezel that'll pop right into the factory stereo spot and it has the lower controls and a separate lower controls. Depending on the climate control options that you have in your vehicle will depend on which bezel you need. For me, I have the heated seats and the cooled seats, which the buttons will go in here for that, and my climate control will go in there. So I do not need to change out this module lower bezel, but if you didn't have those buttons, you can certainly swap to this guy here. So I'm not gonna use that for my install. This is a 14 and a half inch measured diagonal screen, which is one of the largest that you can get. Moving around to the sides and the back, you're gonna see a lot of the unit itself here with all of our connections up there. You're gonna see a connection here, and this is actually gonna be important because it does use the main box from your SYNC 2 unit. So if you have a, a SYNC 2 or a SYNC 3, it will plug into here and then it piggybacks that, and that's kinda of gonna be important. Also looking around on the top, we've got three buttons here. This will be for um, all of the buttons that are currently on the top of your dash. They need to get repositioned somewhere, so they just put them up there. But overall, this is essentially the whole thing in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the features. This has a 14.5 inch FHD plus IPS Android tablet. This is basically a giant Android tablet, which helps to explain the cost. Now we will get into the cost very shortly here, but it's not cheap. And that's because you have a very high quality Android tablet basically running your entire media sound system. It supports wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. There is Google Play Store support on here. You can run the Google Play Store and download apps to this. And since it's a giant Android tablet, I guess you could play games and stuff on this thing as well. But that also means you can get like Netflix running on it. You can get all your streaming services. And as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, this would be a very much all-in-one entertainment unit for sure. It has a Qualcomm eight core processor. Now they say that it supports the factory amp and that's what this bit that plugs onto the back of here is because that's what's gonna integrate this completely into your vehicle. So it does retain that, um, that rear controller to make this all work with the vehicle as it did before. Factory matched bezels, factory camera system, steering wheel controls, 
So obviously your steering wheel controls are fully supported on here. It snaps into the bezel, so it replaces whatever you have for a bezel now. It just pops right in. Looks factory, even though everyone knows that it never came with this giant Tesla style screen. USB music and video playback. You can plug into the USB ports, which are included in this big pile of junk here. I probably won't use those because I, I don't really use those features myself. So we'll probably skip that, but it does support that. Wi-Fi and hotspot support. So you saw that we we had in here a uh, SIM popping tool and that's because this actually has full wireless SIM support. So if you did not want to use like your cell phone as a wireless hotspot to connect to this thing, this thing can become a giant cellular phone using a SIM card and the SIM uh, port in here. This will support full 3G and 4G wireless connection and because it supports hotspot feature, it actually allows you to turn on your hotspot and share your internet connection with any of the occupants that are inside your car. This is great for those of you who have small children who use a tablet for a lot of their entertainment, especially when you're traveling, because this can just share that connection with everybody and you don't have to use your cell phone. You can use it, you don't have to use it, but it is there as an option. Now it does retain the factory backup camera, but if you don't have a factory backup camera, you can also add an aftermarket camera system, which it will support, and even the 360 cameras that you can get. Now, I don't wanna go through the entire install of a 360 camera system, but if you did, then I think that this will support that. And I mean, that's mostly it. So now I guess it's time to go back to the truck and we'll do a quick time lapse of me installing this in the truck and then we'll do a power up and, and see how this thing works. Now that you've seen what we're installing in here, there is a little bit of prep work that we need to do. And I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what that prep work is. So we're gonna start doing the assembly on the um, main unit here. The first thing you need to know is that this piece that was on your factory stereo, you need to swap this from your stereo onto this. And to do that, I used this T20 torque socket, just undid the screws, removed it from it, it just pulls right out, just like a Nintendo cartridge, and then pops into here and then three screws hold it in and then that assembles that. We do need to pull this back plate off here and then attach our lower climate control section from this guy. So we're gonna look at how we pull this guy out first and then I'm gonna show you guys here. Once all those screws are out, there's some little tabs here on the side that we just need to release in order for this to pop off. So I'm just gonna go like that with a flat blade. And we'll get the other side as well. We'll just put that up there. And then that exposes our main circuit board here. And then we just need to undo these clips. Ribbon should just pull right out, just like that. Same with the other side. Pull the ribbon out just like that. Now we can remove the entire assembly by undoing these screws here. And they're probably the same size as before. And that will expose pretty much everything that needs to go inside there. And this is where the transplant begins. So I'm gonna turn this this way so you guys can watch the entire transplant because I think we need to take pretty much everything out of here. That fits there. Now I've got this entire middle assembly. Which don't forget your rings here for your light. So that's that. Now this needs to come too because this is your climate control controls. I don't think I needed to actually unclip these ribbon cables like you guys saw. You guys get to be smart learning from my mistakes. That's how this is gonna work. But here's the deal. We're not going to take the face controls here. Those stay out. So this just goes right in here. It's gonna have a spot that it's gotta go. And the screws should all line up. If they don't line up, then you're probably looking at the wrong spot. Now it did come with a little bag of screws. 
these little black screws here. So these will be the ones that we're gonna use to assemble this. I don't need, well, actually, no, I do need this still. And that's strictly to get these buttons out of here that are right here. And the, to do that, you just squeeze from the back like that and like that. So now I can put my climate control like that. And I'm gonna reattach these things that I never should have pulled out in the first place. Like that. Now I can go and screw these all back into place using the screws that they gave me with my kit. You don't wanna use screws that were on there in the first place because they might be a little bit too long and you don't wanna accidentally go through and crack the radio face on the back side of this. There. Now I can turn this over, give it a touch, give it a push, make sure that everything feels right, nothing's binding. So now this stereo is ready to put in, except for these buttons that I didn't put in yet. And there we go. So we got our emergency button and our held descent buttons in the top. Now we can put this back piece on and then snap it down with a couple of screws. So now that is way more sturdy. So now we will move back to the dash and handle putting it together. Now you guys saw when we did the unboxing, there's lots of wires and lots of cables, but many of them we're not actually gonna use anyway. So I'll show you the important ones and then we'll go from there. The most important one is this one right here. This one has to be connected and this box definitely needs to connect it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just connect this box up to the right cable just like that and then it's just a matter of finding a plug that it fits in and fit it in there so for example this is going to plug into this i'm sure of this because i've installed these before so that goes in just like that then we can kind of tuck this in now we got this this is a gps antenna and if you're using the on board map system then this antenna is going to need a a pretty clear shot of the sky. Uh, I don't usually use it, so I'm not too worried about it. But for the purpose of this video, I'll show you guys where you're going to put it. And that is right up here, right there like that. I'm not going to stick it down. I'm not going to do anything. If you find yourself in a rollover situation, the GPS antenna is going to flop around. But otherwise, nothing's going to happen. Next thing is FM antennas. Now, I don't know if I need these because the truck has an FM antenna controller, I think. This is... If you get poor FM reception, then these are gonna be your ticket. You're probably gonna wanna put them up way over on the corners of your A pillars somewhere. But for my case, I'm gonna stick one right there. And I'm gonna put the other one in the exact same spot. So I don't really care that much, but they're there just in case you need them. Other than that, all these cables, this is just for the USB ports for your um, USB uh, media sticks and stuff like that, which I'm not gonna use. So now this thing is very heavy and I don't want to break anything. So I'm gonna just do the ones that have long cords first. There's one antenna. Okay, there's our two antennas. Blue goes to blue. This is our GPS, which you guys already saw. Okay, so now all we gotta do is figure out where this plugs into. I imagine, so this is a four plug. So I think that goes into there. And this is the most important one because this is what's gonna power up the entire system. So you guys can see Basically, the ports that fit will just fit. They'll only fit in one spot. So if it doesn't fit, then you're looking at the wrong spot. That's how you know if you're doing this the right way. Next thing I gotta do is turn this around, try to plug everything else in that needs to be plugged in. Okay, so I've got it not in park right now, so it's freaking out, but 
These guys need to get plugged in. I was slightly wrong for the connections and I, I think it's important for me to show you I think it's important for me to show you what it is, and that's this white one. I can't point at it very well. This white one here, you saw me plug it in down here somewhere, but really you wanted it in up here next to those antennas. Hopefully you guys can see that, but um, once it's plugged in there, everything is working beautifully. We're just buttoning this up and there's a few extra notes I wanted to say. So first of all, these orange clips, you need to transport these or transpose them from your existing rear uh, part of the stereo to, to make this thing clip together. Okay, so it's definitely booted up. There's a screen on. I can see my climate control settings here, which is Perfect, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Android Auto. So now I want to connect my phone to Android Auto and see how this thing does. So we're gonna look for Ace Pro. And now we've connected my Android Auto so I can put my phone away. And then the experience with Android Auto is exactly what you would think it would be. Now I can't play ludicrous for you guys because I will get demonetized quite quickly. And that's basically it. Now I know you guys want to know a lot of stuff like how well did it work, what are your impressions, and all of that. So let's talk about a few things real quick. Now first of all, you guys want to know what is the price? Well this is a premium product with a premium like premium specs it is a very very high-end tesla style stereo unit and it retails for 1189 us dollars now i know that's a lot to take in but you get a lot of stereo for that it does truly enhance the interior of your vehicle and your vehicle experience the entire experience so if you're looking for a premium product, this is the one you're looking for. I'll put a link in the description where you can grab that. As far as ease of installation, I'm not a novice with this stuff and I would say it's quite involved. It's possible to do and if you follow along with this video, you certainly can get it installed. However, there's a lot of wires, there's a lot of steps and it could be really daunting for somebody. So you may want to consider having somebody local install it for you, take it to a stereo shop, or talk to a young kid who's more into like the technology type stuff and they could probably whiz through this quite easily. It's not a problem for me and if you follow along, it's not a problem for you. But overall, the upgrade side of it, everything functions exactly as you would think it should and it is a huge, huge, huge upgrade. I'm really glad that I did it. And again, if you wanna consider it for yourself, links are in the description down below. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.